Hey guys, welcome back to Warning the AI. You go to channel for everything AI. Today we are diving into groundbreaking development that has just shaken the entire AI industry. You won't believe this. Sakana Labs has just unveiled something truly revolutionary. The world's first fully autonomous AI scientist. That's right, we are talking about an AI that can that can ideate, run experiment, and even write scientific papers all on its own. So buckle up as we explore how Sakana AI is poised to redefine the future of scientific research. Guys, before we dive into the video, I need to warn you. AI is replacing jobs at an alarming rate and it's set to revolutionize every single industry. The harsh truth is only those who stay updated on the latest in AI will stand a chance to adapt. That's where I come in. I post daily videos on AI update to keep you informed on how to upscale yourself in the rapidly changing AI driven world so you don't find yourself out of the job. So make sure you subscribe because if you are not keeping up, you're getting left behind. Let's get started. So guys, let's start with a little background. Sakala Labs is a Tokyo-based AI startup founded by former Google researchers Leon Jones and David Hoff. This dynamic duo is no stranger to the AI world. Leon was one of the co-authors of the influential 2017 paper, Attention is All You Need, which introduced the Transformer architecture. David Ha, on the other hand, has led research at the board Stability AI and Google Brain. Together, they have raised a whopping $30 million in seed funding to bring their vision to life. But what sets Sakana Labs apart? Well, their AI models are inspired by natural systems, think schools of fish and beehives. This approach allows them to create flexible, adaptive and economically efficient AI models, a true game changer in the AI landscape. Now let's dive into the star of today's show, the AI scientist. This isn't just any AI. It's an AI that automates the entire scientific research process, from ideation to code generation, running experiments, summarizing results, and even writing pre-reviewed papers. This AI does it all. So let's break it down. The first one is the idea generation. The AI starts by brainstorming a set of ideas, evaluating their nobility to ensure they are not just rehashing existing work. Second one will be the code-based editing. Next, it leverages recent advances of automated code generation to implement these novel algorithms. Third, experimentation. The AI then runs experiments, gathering both new numerical data and visual summaries. Scientific reporting. Finally, it creates a scientific report, contextualizing the result, and even generates an automated peer review based on top tier machine learning conference standards. This iterative process allows the AI scientist to continuously refine its research, leading to an ever improving output. Imagine a world where scientific research is not just faster, but more efficient and more accessible than ever before. One of the most intriguing aspects of the AI scientist is its cost effectiveness. Producing a research paper with conference level relevance costs just $15. Let that sink in, $15 per paper. With algorithmic efficiencies and smarter workflows, this cost could drop even further. Imagine a future where high quality research paper costs mere cents to produce. This opens up unprecedented possibilities for democratizing research and accelerating scientific progress. We're talking about a world where anyone, anyone, anywhere can contribute to the body of scientific knowledge. Now I know what you're thinking. Sure, it, it sounds impressive, but are the papers any good? Well, the answer is a bit mixed. While some papers presented novel inside, the overall quality varied. For example, a paper on diffusion model for low dimensional data showed significant improvement in sample quality and distribution matching. Another proposed a novel dual expert denouncing architecture for diffusion model, which also showed improved performance. However, these papers were generally described as medium quality, comparable to work by early stage machine learning researchers. They lacked depth, deep theoretical justification, had limited experimental scope. So while these papers aren't ready for publication, they could serve as a valuable starting point for human researcher to build upon. One of the most standout models used by the AI scientists is Cloud Sonnet 3.5. This model consistently produced the best paper, with some even surpassing the acceptance threshold for standard machine learning conferences. But here's the exciting part. There's no reason to believe that a single model like Sonnet 3.5 will maintain its lead forever. As LLMs continue to improve, we can expect to see even more capable models in the near future. And the competition among these models will drive their commoditization, making high-quality AI research tools accessible to everyone. Now, of course, no system is without its limitation. The AI scientist currently lacks vision capabilities, meaning it struggles with visual issues like plot, readability, and page layout. It also occasionally makes critical errors in writing and evaluating results. However, these limitations aren't deal breakers. 
the inclusion of multi-model foundation models could fix these issues and the team at Sakana Labs is already working on it. And here's the best part. They have open sold the entire project. That's right, you can head over to their GitHub repo and explore the ins and out of the AI scientists yourself. The move is sure to spur innovation and collaboration in the AI community and I can't wait to see what's gonna come next. So there you have it guys, Sakala Labs AI scientist is a gate, true game changer in the world of AI research. Uh, while it's not perfect, the potential is undeniable. We're witnessing the dawn of a new era where AI driven scientific research could accelerate discoveries like never before. If you want this video insightful, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to 1 AI if you want. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much.